Hello, everybody. My name is Rick Smith. I'm the police chief in Wakefield. And I also serve, I have the distinct pleasure of serving as the chairman of the board for the Middlesex Partnership for Youth. And with me today is Margie Daniels, our executive director. And we have three very special guests who are going to share some information and talk to you about their success today in the public service announcement project that was held <clears throat> most recently as a result of the MPY project. Uh, we're very fortunate to have with us today um, Gabriel Samayo. 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 Yep. Gabriel is a student, a junior, correct? Yep, that's at, correct. At Everett High School, as well as with him, Everett School Advisor Alex O'Donnell. Yep. Um, and we also have with him Thomas Pham. Thomas, you're, Thomas, you're a former student at Everett High, is that? Uh, well, recent graduate. So. Recent graduate, <laughs> as of a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple there of weeks ago. ago. Congratulations. Thank you. As you move on, I, I want to follow your success. Um, the reason we're here today is to talk a little bit about Middlesex, Middlesex Partnership for Youth but also to talk, more importantly, about the PSA contest, which Everett um, Public Schools actually won after a very, very healthy um, competition. Runners up in it were Merrill's High School as well as um, Middle School in Arlington. So it was very, very, very difficult competition. And what we're going to hear about today a little later on is exactly what you went through, what your message was, and how you got to be the champions of the PSA program. A little bit about Middlesex Partnership for Youth. The Middlesex Partnership for Youth um, started in 1988, and it's a nonprofit. Um, and our goal is to promote health and wellness um, and safety of our youth in Middlesex County and beyond. Um, we are also up in Essex County now, and we share the, the knowledge and, and being of our young people as well as hopefully holding uh, educational opportunities for not only the students, but for superintendents of school, police officers, police chiefs, and the community in general. Um, we have, we support, we're very supportive of learning envi environments as well as student health in all four dimensions, physical, social, emotional, and academic. And you're going to see today as we talk about all four of those and the success we had earlier on. Um, it's, like I said, established in 1988, we have over 100 public school districts throughout Northeastern Massachusetts uh, that we share, we share our programs with. I did mention that Margie Daniels is with us today. Ma I'm going to turn this over to Margie to talk a little bit about how we got to be where we are, talk a little bit more about the MPY program, as well as the PSA contact. So Margie, welcome. Thank you, Chief. Last night, I had the honor and privilege of being at the school committee meeting at Everett, uh, which I thought was one of the nicest school committee meetings I've ever attended in terms of the happiness that I felt in the room from, for the very first time, Everett winning our public service announcement contest. This is a contest that we have been um, sponsoring for 10 years, and we've had very healthy participation. We had more than 40 public service announcements turned in this year. They were original. They're up to 60 seconds. And we had a very esteemed panel of judges determine five finalists. And this panel of judges was composed of police chiefs, school superintendents, uh, social workers, teachers, uh, and also police officers. So we were able to select, and it was difficult because the PSAs were absolutely excellent that were turned in, and we were able to select two from Somerville High School, one from Odyssey Middle School in Arlington. We were absolutely thrilled to have a middle school um, PSA rise to the, to the finals, Melrose High School, and of course the, um, the one from Everett. At that point, the finalist PSAs go to all of our members. As the chief said, we have over 100 members in our organization. So it opens up the voting to a large number of middle school and high school students. And we were absolutely delighted that the Everett Public Schools, for the very first time, won our project. So I would like to turn it over to our advisor. Our advisor is named Alex O'Donnell, and it's his second year, I believe, at Everett High School. That's great. And I congratulate you on the great work that you've done, Alex. Oh, thank you very much. I wouldn't give all credit or very much of it to myself. I feel like the guide uh, to these uh, talented 
uh, you know, um, filmmakers that were able to create such a visionary product. And uh, you know, it wasn't just one uh, <clears throat> point of view that they were able to create this um, um, this 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 product. It was basically working together. They took on uh, many trades uh, to complete it. Before we go any further, I would love our viewing audience to see the PSA before we actually talk to the students so they'll understand our excitement over this phenomenal production. Good evening. For the second time Joining in as many weeks, a grand to all of this in Newtown, Connecticut. Horrific shooting on the Las Vegas Strip, the deadliest mass shooting in modern United States man history. named Eric Garner being taken down by mostly plainclothes police officers while being placed we under continue arrest. watching the situation at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. In what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. Be the change. This is an incredible, incredible. I, I really want to applaud you for, you for what you've done here. But I think one thing we should really talk about is, and I'd like to talk about, is the name. And the theme this year um, was Be the Change. And we know that comes from Mahatma Gandhi's quote, um, Be the Change in the World You Want to See. So I want to open this up. Um, Let's start with the senior, a former senior. Tom, maybe we'll go by seniority here. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. And, and when you heard what the theme was going to be, how did your thought process go? And what did you start to think about? Um, first thing I thought about was the recent tragedy when it came up uh, was the, Stone, the, the shooting in Florida, the Stoneman Douglas. I was thinking, you know, how these, you know, people were, were starting to stand up. You know, they uh, started advocating. And I said, and I thought to myself, like that's that's a very not not to bring tragedy into like our own like thing but that was very convenient for us we i thought so but i thought that's that's a good message that's a good thing to push so we started there we're like okay people advocating for stuff people who be the change we also thought about the civil rights movement we thought about vietnam and we thought about just just everything we learned in our history classes and our um you know in our schools just what you know who were the change who brought the change up and we thought to ourselves we have to talk about them we have to show them somehow we have to pack them all in all at once in 60 seconds that's a that's a testament to um you know obviously alex and and the people that you have encountered as you went through your college your high school career um it speaks volumes about you know level of education and where you've taken this um gabe you're not off the hook <laughs> and we also use color to, you know, represent exactly what our message was. So red was used to, when, whenever we had red, we uh, had the negative, you know, things, the, the shooting itself and uh, the massacre in Las Vegas. We had uh, so many, uh, you know, events that contributed to when we uh, start moving towards the blue side, which was the positive message. And then we had the Martin Luther King speech over that. And, uh, and then the main character, which for us was Jackie, she was, she was given the choice to make a change. And that's what The Last Shot is all about. She was able to make a, uh, a peaceful protest for being the change. And uh, I thought it was important that that was one of the only, you know, uh, pieces of dialogue she even had because it, it represents what the PSA was about, and it also represents something so much more, which is what we were able to come up with. And I think everybody's pretty happy with the result. And uh, yeah. It's incredible. Alex, as your advisor, um, it looks like it was a pretty easy job to, to advise <laughs> these two guys. <laughs> you mean, I didn't have to do any of the work. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, incredible. No, I, I was just floored. I, 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 I know that you know these two, some with more experience than I do, way more. Uh, I was able to like just look back and trust in them, say, okay, they know what they're doing. Every now and again, I'd introduce a new concept, but I don't think they needed it. They already had their vision. And I think 
that's basically 90% of the work. Once you see what you're going to do, uh, and then you just do it. That's the rest of the 10%. And uh, it was very uh, enjoyable, and I'm very proud of what they did. So, well, you know, Maji, you, you've seen a lot of a lot of these in the 10 years that you've been doing this as our executive director. She's done a wonderful job, and every year it's a different theme, it's a different direction that we want to go in. Um, this being the way of the world is is changing so rapidly. This being um, such a special topic that we want to look at, Maji, maybe you could talk about that a little bit on on. How you ch how how you chose that, and then um, pretty much how the process you went through the process and the different. And maybe you could talk about um, when you had the chiefs and the superintendents and everybody in to do the judging. Would you like to share that with with our viewers? Sure. Um, when I saw it, I absolutely got goosebumps, and I shared that at the school <laughs> committee meeting last night. And I'm not sure if you're aware that one of the school committee members, Millie Cardillo came over to me afterward and she said, I see exactly what you mean. She said, I got goosebumps too when I saw it. And you just hit on so much. And as the chief said, how you pack that into 60 seconds, you know, because that's the maximum we allow yeah. is 60 seconds, is truly amazing. You just hit on so many key points. And I didn't, didn't even realize the piece until you were just talking about yeah. the red and the blue. I mean, as someone who's not familiar with making films, that would completely be over my head. But I can tell you, as an amateur watching, it was very, very impactful. Um, as far as how we choose the theme, as I said, we've done this for 10 years. And we really, when I say struggle, not in a negative way, but we really try to come up with something that will resonate with students and will be meaningful. And I think in some ways, the theme of this year where we were quoting Gandhi was, was maybe the deepest that we've ever done. And it was really reflected in the kind of work that we received from the students. Um, as far as what it was like that day, we're actually at your police station. We did the judging in your community room at the Wakefield um, Police Department. And we had some people there who had never judged one of our contests before. And you know, I think they came over certainly in the spirit of cooperation, you know, high school kids making a video. They were flabbergasted. They were absolutely floored with the quality of the five um, videos that were chosen. So um, the process was a little bit maybe less complicated than you might think, because the five that were selected really rose to the top. It was very, very obvious um, which the five were. There was not a lot of arguing. There was not a lot of debating. We very quickly were able to settle on the five. And then, of course, once, once it goes public and students are voting, we never really know who will win? Um, I will tell you, I talked to Alex on the phone, and I said, Tim, I'm going to be shocked if you don't win. <laughs> Start planning your trip to Wakefield. Get the van lined up. Um, I, I really would have been surprised, because it, it was just, just as you said, such an outstanding piece of work. So I really congratulate you all. Thank you. And also, I'm just curious. Um, I know we had asked you for a list of credits, which will be played at the end of this. So there are several other students that were involved. So was it a class project, or was it something that you did after school? I was just curious how, how you were able to do it. We incorporated class time for this project. Uh, it, it did take some uh, work from all, all the classes together. First with some of the videos, for instance, when uh, Jackie, our actor, was uh, barraged by all these different media outlets. Uh, it it um, took some. Uh, contribution from other students in order to get that work in and we needed also for that shot with the, uh, um, the, the holding up the signs that was be uh, a little more participation from the other students. And uh, so when this project was actually due all the computers at Upper High were not working so we had to edit at home which was great uh, fortunately I had a pretty good editing computer so I just kept sending them a bunch of emails uh, to let them know like updates on the video and uh, and then I would send screenshots of the of the visual effects the dialogue Thomas would send me a lot of like videos of news footage it was just like a very collaborative project between us and uh, and Mr. O'Donnell definitely helped out a lot by you know some of the critiques like you have to feather this part a little bit uh, more you know you have to you know it was just a great collaboration it was a lot of fun and I think overall it, it made the video you know that much better and I'm super happy I, I, I have to full disclosure um, when they did the judging at Wakefield PD I was not there um, sadly I was not there 
And I was saying to Mr. O'Donnell earlier, I have very strong Everett roots, so there was no bias because I wasn't in the building. But I, 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 but if I could interrupt, Chief, no one in the room knew where the videos came from, so you would not have to be able to have your hometown bias come in. Full disclosure. Um, having said that, you, you incorporated some incredible video. Um, going back to, I'm dating myself, but my generation of the Vietnam War, the end of the Vietnam, um, the quotes and the, and the, the um, little bits we saw in there from Martin Luther King, all the leaders and change in, in America today as we know it and as historically how we know it. What brought you back to those days? I mean, the late 60s and early 70s in this country were tumultuous. They were crazy times. And I was young, younger then. But you know, to bring you back when we talk about change from a generation that that seems like hundreds of years ago, I'm sure, to your generation as two, two young men in college, in high school and moving on into college. What brought you back there and, and to research Martin Luther King and um, the protests of the 60s and 70s that inspired the change that we live with today? Uh, um, well, I'm in AP US, and it just so happened we were around that time anyways in the um, studies. And you know, my teacher always says, and every history teacher always says, uh, you have to know the history or else you're doomed to repeat it. So, you know, we like to think back, we like to think, you can't, to think forward, you have to look back. So we thought back of, you know, anything that hit us hard, anything that brought major changes, anything that might have brought, you know, controversy at the time. But, you know, today we would have been like, yeah, obviously that was the right choice and that's, uh, we just like to think back, you know, and learn and try to think back to major points. That and to also show how a lot of these problems haven't even been solved yet. You know, it's been so long and, uh, and considering we still have these problems, we have to do something about it. And I feel like this video hopefully can spread that message by showing a comparison between then and now and how there's a lot that we still have to do. And that's why Be the Change was so powerful. Right. And it's great that you won. But you have to realize that these videos, the five finalist videos, were shown all over eastern Massachusetts. And it gave a real jumping point for class discussion. What needs to be changed? What can people your age do to stand up and be the change? So aside from the wonderfulness of winning this project, you opened up a whole line of discussion for a countless number of students. Right. Alex, how has this impacted your role now as an advisor? Um, you must be a rock star in Everett High School. Oh, the Crimson wow. must love you. <laughs> well, it's, it's certainly a feather in the cap. That's it seemed it last sure. night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, now that we see what works and what doesn't, we, we can adjust the model of what will help you win. Uh, last year, we, we succumbed to the, the, uh, the, the great technology of Somerville. Somerville used technology that uh, we didn't have the year before. What we had, we, we didn't quite, we weren't there yet. Uh, so uh, luckily, you know, they are more uh, adept to that technology and they, they used it, incorporated it, and implemented it into our projects and uh, that I think gave us the edge. That was an incredible, incredible piece of work. You, you should be so proud of yourselves for what you've done and what you've shared with communities across eastern Massachusetts. It's, it's, there's a, such a message there and, and, and I have to say I agree with Margie. This is the first time I saw I saw it today. Oh, really? And I didn't when know you hadn't seen it. Yeah, I had not seen it. And and to to see this and to hear the voices again and you know, for someone who Margie and I can say this because we're similar in historical perspective, it's a nice way to say it. It's, you could almost smell the smells of back then. That's how well this is done. This is incredible. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it obviously resonated very well with people your age, but um, some of us um, older folks, a little bit older, um, also were so taken by it because it recalled for us, like you say, those um, very, very um, tumultuous days of the 60s into the 70s. So it, it just it, it just hit for so many people. I just also want to mention, because it, it kind of came up at the school committee meeting last night, um, as the chief said, he wasn't there to judge. But if he was, he would not have known that it was Everett because, you know, there was no, we don't 
disclose that. But one of the judges was the former superintendent of the Somerville Public Schools, who was at the school committee meeting last night. And uh, it, it was really funny, because he had no idea. He was part of the selection process. And as you know, Somerville has won many, many times. So he was part of the process that now turned the crown over to the Everett Public Schools. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of chuckling about that at the school committee meeting last night, because Tony Parentazzi was actually there. So we talk about change, and we talk about change is always good. Might be uncomfortable, but change is always good. Um, where, do you, where do you guys go from here? Uh, Gabe, you're going to be around for next year at, at Everett High. Tom, you're moving on. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to collaborate? Is, is, is you know, Mr. Mr. O'Donnell going to be able to draft you back and you know, as a free agent? To help on next I year. I already asked him. I asked him. Uh, <laughs> I said, we're getting you back for next year. Uh, yeah. what, I mean, what are your plans next year, Tom? I mean, I, for some reason, I can't leave the school. I've been busy <laughs> the last few weeks. I, ever since I graduated, I've been editing videos for, for them. Um, I have like a sort of part time job in the TV studio there. So even though I'm leaving, I don't think I'll ever leave, um, in a sense. Whether that's good or bad, you know, that's up to the future to see. Hopefully, it's great that you know, I never leave. Um, but, you know, we'll see the future, where the future leads. Gabe? Uh, well, I plan on making a lot of short films this summer, so hopefully I can spread, you know, an even bigger message, you know, uh, to continue to send out this message to be the change within and to incorporate it within my films and, uh, and incorporate even more messages. And I can't wait to see what the message is next year <laughs> for I the know. PSA. We're in the process right now of deciding. I'm, I'm more than happy to take suggestions when we finish filming. It'll be hard to top this yeah. one. This was just a fabulous, fabulous topic. And then the results were just beyond belief. Thank you. Now, Alex, let me ask this. What's the, what's the um, how do you say this? What's the temperature around Everett High School now? What, what's the feeling after you know, this, this great award, um, the work you, you got? Obviously, you didn't do it in a vacuum. You, you know, you work with other students, you work within the, the education, the high school educational environment. What's the temperature in every high school? How are the kids, how are the, te how the teachers feel about this? About this? I, I didn't get too much feedback from the teachers. What the, the administrators there, they, they love this. So, you know, they, they, they want to see this kind of uh, uh, thing that shows that Everett has this edge in a way. And um, I think everybody's, uh, you know, it's another, uh, attribute to the school uh, to show off. Everyone knows we, we have a celebrated celebrated football team. Everybody knows that we have a uh, now we're. You have to remind me of that. Go ahead. Cause I, <laughs> okay. Well, we okay. were undefeated this year. Easy so. now. Easy. <laughs> we uh, we um, uh, it's not just the football, the sports, the the music, but now we have something to show for uh, the video production, the visual art form, and. Um, when I started my presentation last night at the school committee meeting, I started it by saying that Everett has been hitting it out of the park. And the reason I said that, it was my second appearance at an Everett school committee meeting this year because we had an honorable mention in our poster project. So I was there to give an award at that school committee meeting. So Everett is the only school that I've been to twice this year to honor. So yes, the, the administration is sky high with the successes. There might be something there. Uh, that's Miss Borderi. I share the same room with her at, at uh, Everett oh, High School. Yeah, yeah. It was just a fabulous poster that they were able to create. So you know, we, our, our hats are really off to the Everett Public Schools. A little bit more full disclosure. Um, Margie, when she, every time she goes to Everett, my phone rings. <laughs> how do you find? How do you get here? How do you get there? Um, but and I have a feeling we're going to be back in Everett um, soon probably sooner than later. Um, just a couple of closing comments. Um, let's, 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 let's go left to right here. Um, well, it was an Gabe, absolute go ahead. honor to work on this project. I, I love filmmaking. I've been doing it since I was 11, uh, you know, and it, it started out with me making a montage on my iPad, you know, and, uh, and, and it was like the second generation iPad. It was super slow, but it, it was able to show me what I can do with technology and, uh, and the vision that I had for that video. And then ever since then, I was able to you know, further develop my, my style of what I like to film and the messages I hope to, to portray with visuals and audio. And this project was, it, it further like proved to me that I love filming. And I love film in general and video production 
And I think working, collaborating with Mr. O'Donnell, Thomas, and the other students, Jackie, it, w it just further solidified the fact that I love film. Thank you. Tom. Thank you. Um, I'm, I was uh, freshman year, there was a media club. We, we did a little bit of like uh, newscasting. And I was never really into film yet until you know, I got there. I'm like, oh, whatever, it's cool, my friends are here. And you know, I started talking around with the advisor and stuff. And I decided to make a, a, a big, uh, big video for the marching band. I wanted, I wanted a promotion video, because I always see the football team always has a promotion video. I said, we could get a promotion video. We win all the time, so why can't we get one? So I made one. And me, the advisor, I started messing around with the editing, changing songs. I started to see how like, this song would uh, portray one emotion, that song portrays one emotion. You add this different edit, just a little change, and it completely changes the whole film. Uh, brings, uh, then comes this year, I took the class, and I started doing more and more editing, more and more filming. Um, you know, I started learning how to use Premiere. Uh, I went to Washington with uh, the Everett Marching Band, and I just made them a, a giant uh, interview uh, video, 20 minute long, all filmed by students. I even actually hired my own little camera woman to help me out, and it's just, just the whole thing was great, because I learned from him. He taught me basically all the special effects he did. He was amazing. Uh, Mr. O'Donnell taught me, you know, the basics of Premiere, little shortcuts here and there, and just, and just like styling stuff. So, they both of them, and everyone else also taught me great, you know, little things. That's exciting. Can I draft you guys? I want to do a promotional video for the Wakefield Police. You guys, <laughs> you know, you have the summer off. So, yeah. Mr. O'Donnell, a couple of last comments. Well, uh, it's, it's not uh, just a one-way street with education. Uh, when I'm there, I'm also learning a lot, particularly from these two. Uh, and, um, you know, that's just been a gift to just understand another aspect of people who are genuinely interested in this uh, art form. And, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure to teach, uh, to teach all my students, usually. So it's, uh, I'm very, uh, I'm just floored at the, what we can do with this and how we can change the world. And Maji, any, any closing comments before we wrap up? Just thank you so much for bringing your talent, your hard work, um, and your creativity and sharing it with Middlesex Partnerships for Youth and through us with so many other students. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thanks. And the All chief right. has some um, certificates to give you to thank you. I do. Um, but before we go there, I just want to close by saying this is an incredible opportunity and a pleasure and an honor to sit here with two so very bright young individuals who you two are not only are you going to change the world in many ways in but you're also going to change people's lives and from what i i saw here today from where we're going with this it's going to comfort me to be able to sit back in later years and see where you two pop up again um, because you guys are not going away congratulations um you know to the Everett Public Schools, to the city of Everett, to your families, incredible, incredibly well done, and, and you really should be proud of what you've done. I, it's a great honor to sit here and, and spend this time, this few minutes with you. Um, we're all wired in, so we can't get up, but I, I do want to, <laughs> I do want to, um, I do want to share with you uh, presenting the certificate award to both Thomas and um, to Gabe. Be the change. I'll hold one up. Be the change. A Middlesex Partnership for Youth. Um, public service announcement project in 2018. The winners go to Thomas Pham and Gabriel Samael um, of the Everett Public Schools. I thank you both. I thank all three of you. And with that, we'll draw a close. I think Maji has a few gifts she wants to I share. Do. I do. Certificates are nice, but I hope you'll enjoy using these. They're, they're movie tickets. Oh, thank so, you. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much, and Chief. We're, we're just so honored that you are the chair of our MPY Board of Directors. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. You're welcome. And thank you to the, to the, um, to the board, uh, the MPY Board, for all the work that they do um, in, in education and guidance and um, trying to keep everyone together and on the same page and moving forward. It's a great, uh, it's a great opportunity to serve in this role, and, and I'm honored. So having said that, thank you very much. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back later.